Okay, so um, in this bearing question, we need to remember that the north lines are always parallel. So if I extend the line here, that will help me with this question, and we'll see why in a second. So it says the bearing of B from A is 35 degrees. Work out the bearing of A from B. So if it's from B, I'm at B and I'm working at the angle of A. So bearings um, always start from north and go clockwise. So the angle I'm looking for is this angle here. Now I know half of it, or I know a bit of it, I know this bit here is 180 degrees because it's a straight line. So really all I need to do is work out this last bit here. Now thinking back to the fact that the north lines are always parallel lines we know that the 35 degrees here is going to be the same as the 35 degrees here and that's because their z angles are all turn angles so the total angle the total bearing of a from b is just 180 degrees that straight line on the right plus the 35 degrees the angle we know is alternate to the angle uh, on the left hand side and so when you add those together you get 215 so the bearing is 215 degrees